Hola amigos, this is Somvir and welcome back to Codepipe. We are currently designing backend for our e-commerce Django website. We have already seen all of this. In this video, we will see how to make the category page. So let's get started. This is the homepage of our website. And what we are going to do is, if we go on any of the category page, let's say men, we will get to this page. Also, if we go for women, we are getting to the same page. And also for all categories, we are going to the same page. So what we are going to do in today's video is number one, we will populate all the products that are related to the category we are clicking on. Number two, we'll be making this navigation better. If we click on men, this orange bar should be on men. And if we click on women, this orange bar should be on women. Number three, we will populate our filter by populating. I mean, if we are on men's page, we should see subcategory of men. If we are on women page, we should see subcategory of the women main category and so as the prices and colors and number four will be to populate these things according to the page that we are visiting. Before making views, let me tell you one helpful point here. The point is about the importance of making front end and UI in advance as we have already created the front end for this. We will just have to make our back end views and insert context into this template which makes it very easy. So if you are making any project in Django or any other web development project, make sure that you are using the correct way of making UI first, then front end and then back end. That being said, let's start making our views. We will make our views in product views.py. We already have this category view that is taking us to category page.html. But instead of this, now we need three views. One for all category, one for men and one for women. So I will replace this view with three views that will be similar to this. So here are the views. Let's see from the top. First of all, we have all category view, meaning we are clicking on all category and then we are simply using get method. We are getting all the products from product variation and we are ordering it by ID, which is in descending order meaning the last created will be displayed on the top. Then we are using paginator object or basically we are trying to provide pagination on our website. So when we are using this get method or post method, we need to use this. So we are using products and we want to show 16 products at a time. After that, we are providing a context. The context needs to be the page object using which we are paginating the products and we are passing it along the context. In the same way, we have men category view where we are using the get method again. We are taking out the products which will be objects of product variation. But here we are using product underscore underscore gender is equal to M. Let me try to explain you this. If we go to models, if we go to product variation, here it is. Here we can observe any object of this product variation class will have a product. This product field is related to the main model product as a foreign key and if we go to this product model here it is and this product model have gender which is a character field and we are using this filter on our views.py saying under the object of product variation the product gender should be male so this is a kind of reverse connection using which we can filter out products on the gender basis then again we are passing on the page object which is made after the pagination and passing it on the render. We will do the exactly same thing with women category view. We are using get method for products. We are using product gender as F. We are making the pagination and we are passing along this page object into our context and this context into our render. Here we will need to import paginator. So let's do it on the top. I will say from django.core.paginator import paginator. Now it should not throw any errors as we have made all the fresh views. We need to change our urls.py under urls.py. We have this all category, which is taking category view. I will replace this with three different views or three different path. First one will have all category view. Second one will have men category and third one will have women category. We are giving them the respective names. Let's go to our base.html to change URL for all this into our navigation. So main templates base.html. Here we can see this is our navigation. 
and here for men and women we are using the same which is category page we will change this with men category and women category so let's change this men category we will use this to change this one we will say here women category and above this we have this all category so for that we will use the template url tagging copy this paste it here and i will say all category after this let's go to our html template which is in products templates product and category page here in the content block if we scroll down we can see that we are using a normal for loop for n in i which we were passing previously in our context so i will write here product in page object as page object we are passing in the context and also i will check if there are products or not so basically if page objects so let me change these other values and tell you so under our for loop we will first put the image we will see if the product has image or not if the product has image we will use that image otherwise we will provide one demo image after that we have add to cart add to wish that we will see later and if the product is on sale we will put the product as sale then we have the info bar where we will provide the product dot product which will give us the product name then we have product category with color and the size and at the last we have product price and after that if there are no products we will say no products found let's check this on our web page here let's try to click on any category so let's say we click on men here we are getting the products and we can see we have only two products in our men category which is hulk t-shirt l and s and let's see for women here we can see we are getting the url as product women and we are getting products that are related to women category these two we have provided the image and the third one we have not provided any image so it is taking the default image now also let's check for all category if we click here we should be getting all the products from all category so we have three products from women and two products from men which means all of our views are working now the next step is to populate our filter with subcategory color and size here we can see the svg is going up this is going up because earlier we were using 16 products here but now we have only five so i will change the default height of this section to accommodate this filter svg so let's go to our css to quickly fix this in our static css product.css we want to change the height of product section which is this one let me paste the code here i want minimum height as 230 vertical height and i'll keep it important let's refresh our browser and now we can see after changing the default height the svg is coming properly our filter is looking good so let's have a look at this filter html template and see what we need to send as a context so in our product templates we will check for category filter and here we can see we are using one section subcategory and we are manually providing all the subcategories so let us go to our views.py and here we will provide subcategory color and size along with this context in all the three views for all category what i'm going to use is i want all the subcategories that are available all the colors and all the sizes and i'm using distinct here so that i'm getting distinct values not ambiguous values for men category i will put this where subcategories will be filtered according to the category name and the color and sizes will remain same let's do for women category here i will put the code like this and subcategories will now be filtered according to the category of women colors and sizes will remain same now let's go to our category filter and put these values so instead of this individual divisions i will use a for loop here which will look something like this so i am using a loop here to provide all the subcategories in a division i will delete all these other divisions delete after this we have price we don't want to change this section of html because we want user to input their price range then we have color for colors let me use the same for loop so i will delete all of this until style and paste my for loop here which will look something like this 
I am going through all the colors using that color to make an input field of checkbox and I am using for loop dot counter to provide background color of the color code I am giving. Remember in our model with the color we are also giving the color code that is for this purpose. Let me do it for sizes also. So I will delete all of this until here and paste my for loop which will look something like this going through all the sizes and put size in our checkbox. After this we have our offer or deal which means we want to check products on offer or we want to check default. So these are radio buttons and all of this is inside a form tag with a submit input at the bottom of the filter so that when we click on this it will be used by a view to filter out our products that we will see in the future video. But for now let's check our web page. Again let's go to men. Here we are getting the products as we wanted and in our filter section we have men round neck t-shirt which is the only subcategory in our men section. Then we have price. In the color we have only provided one color so we have our color. For sizes we have MLS 28, 30 and 32. MLS for t-shirts and 28, 30, 32 for jeans which is all the sizes from across all the categories. And at the last we have offer or deal which are radio buttons. If we click on offer we will get to this and we can apply the filter. Now we are done with product population and filter population. Now we need to change this navigation bar. So let's go to our base.html to change this. Again this is our navigation bar and how we are going to make changes to this navigation are. On our web page we can see we have this request path. We will use this to check on which page we are redirected to. So I'm going to replace all of this code with this. Let me explain you from the top. So we are checking if request.path is equal to blank or the home page. If that is the case then we are providing the class nav active which is basically providing the orange bar on home page. Then we are checking if the request.path has product men. Then we are providing nav active for men navigation. Same with women. So using this request.path we are giving classes to each of the navigation as nav active. Let's check our browser to confirm this. This is our home page. We are on home. If I click on men, it is shifting to men, which means it is working. Let's check for women also. It is shifted to women. So this is how we can make our navigation good looking. Now for the last part of this video, we will change these values. So we will go to category page.html. So on the top, we can see we are using blocks so that we can give customized name for each page. So let me change this. I will be using the same logic that I've used for the navigation. I will change this code with this. So I'm using if condition to check request.path. If it is men, I will say for him, it is women. I will say for her. If it is all category, I will say all categories. And if we are using a search or sort option, I will just say products. Let me change for this one also. So I will replace this with almost the similar code. Since we are changing the names, let me change the title of this page also. So I will delete this and I will use this code again to check request.path and giving name accordingly. So finally on our web page, if we click on men, we are getting the navigation correct. We are getting the breadcrumbs and heading correct. We are also getting the correct title. We have our product listed for men and also we have our filter sorted. With this, we can say that we have successfully created our category page. I think this is a good point to conclude the video. In the next video, we will see how to search for any product using this search bar. So stay tuned for that. Leave a like if you like the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and push the notification bell to not miss any videos. We will meet very soon with a new video. Until then, this is Somewhere taking your leave. Adios.